Hi, and welcome to my little show of in C++. What I'm basically going to show you here is how to read a line of different characters. It is a string line, uh, so we will be we are using the function get line with C in it and variable name, where the variable name is the type of the string, of course. And we will be counting upper and lowercase characters and uh, yeah, all letters and white spaces and lots of special characters as well. I am using the dot and comma as uh, special characters. The program can uh, be run over again till you get tired of it, so it won't uh, self-destruct after you had written one line in it. The idea is to give you the functions to make other stuff with input strings. I hope this gives you an idea of what I mean. An example will be making a calculator and yes, I know there are lots of them around on the internet. So we'll be making calculator using C++. There you will be, uh, there we will need to read, for example, parentheses, a start and ending uh, parentheses, for, some, uh, for something to get solved or to be solved. Like using negative variables, or not variables, but read rather numbers. And uh, that will make this uh, little show of case a bit handy, I hope that is. Uh, we will be using the sentences, uh, for example, as you will see here, like Hello, I am Tor and I live at Sørlande, and then with a dot on at the end. And uh, we have a quote, a sharp, an uh, exclamation mark, an at, and the numbers 1, 2, 3. And including the white spaces here, that will be a total of 53 characters. And uh, the second line will be uh, consisting of 14 characters, uh, including white spaces. And that's how do you do, with a question mark. And the third one, only two characters, the number itself, one, and a dot. So uh, special characters, uh, for example, here will be including comma and dot, and semicolon, and normal colon, and all such things, as you will see in the code. So, uh, okay, I'm just going to copy-paste uh, this line here, the first one. Copy, and I'm opening the project here, and here you will see the code. I'm going to uh, show you that uh, a bit later on, but yeah, basically that's all of it. It's about two, 230 lines or something. Anyway, uh, time to run the program itself. Uh, I have defined the size of this window and the positioning because I'm uh, also thinking that there might be some uh, some uh, laptops being used. So, yeah, that's why I just position it at the upper left corner approximately. So I'm just going to edit and uh, paste in uh, the uh, first line here. Uh, and as you can see, the first two sentences before this is Now, we will count some letters, white spaces and special characters. Please enter a, se uh, a sentence and press enter when you have written it. So your sentence and colon and a uh, space, that's all that is before you are typing here. So you can only type and press enter. You can't do anything wrong, really. So pressing enter now. Okay, you wrote this sentence. Hello, I'm Tor, and I'm living at so long, uh, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, the total of characters, including the white spaces, uh, white space characters, is 53. Uh, isn't that what I also had counted here? Yes. So you can count by yourself if you like to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, etc, etc. You get the idea. So that should be correct. And you used a total of 29 lowercase letters. And there you see them all. And you used a total of 5 uppercase letters. And there you see them. And that was kind of funny. <laughs> Take away the H and it, it is. <laughs> Um, uh, there are a total of six special characters being used, and a total of ten white spaces, or spa white space characters being used. And we can count that as well. One, two, three. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong sentence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10. So that's correct. And we will like to run this program again. Uh, so I'm using a get uh, function. So it's just enough to press on the keyboard, either Y or N. It doesn't matter whether you're using a capital or not. I mean, like you're starting with a uppercase or lowercase, it doesn't matter. I'm pressing Y. And then we can use the second example here. How do you do? So I'm just going to uh, paste that in. How do you do? It should be 14 characters. And yes, it is 14. How do you use... Uh, how <laughs> you use that total of four uppercase letters? Yes. H, D, Y, D. How do you do? So that's correct. And there is a total of six lowercase letters. O, W, O, O, U, O. <laughs> three, four O's. That's kind of funny, actually. One, two, three, four. It's like, oh, oh. how about we pronounce it? And there is uh, one special character being used, and that's the question mark itself. And that's correct. And there uh, are three white spaces, and that's correct. One, two, three, yeah. Um, now I'm just going to press the one, and I dot, as you can see at my third uh, example. Uh, oops, there we go. I forgot to press the Y. <laughs> I thought that it. Uh, so I got, as the third example, as you can see here, that will be one and a dot. So, I'm going to press enter. Okay, you wrote this sentence, and uh, there's a total of two characters. There is one special character being used, and that's the dot. And as you can see, there are no white spaces, so I'm not printing out any result with white space or white spaces in it. Just notice that little thing. Uh, from the earlier examples. And if I just now press the button 1 uh, and nothing else, you wrote this sentence and the total character is 1. This 1 here will go for uh, numbers, which I'm not really counting though. Uh, but we could do that as well. I could implement it and do things with it if I like to. But I decided not to in this example. It's just for counting characters uh, actually. But also now we got the example with upper and lower case and special characters and white spaces or white space. So I'm just gonna press the button N for no and there is self destructs. And that's all that's into it. So we are just gonna quickly look at the code. We got a lot of include files. The conio.h is for the get war, uh, function, not verbal, but function. And windows.h, that's for setting the size and uh, positioning of the window itself. iostream, string, and vector are also being used, so we need all those five include files. And then we are defining some variables, even the quote, and the max here is actually not being really necessary to have, but I'm having it just for fun. And then we got special characters and the, yeah, you know, the English alphabet that consists of 26 characters. But in Norwegian, we got the three more letters or characters, and that's A, Ö, and O. So that will be a 29. And if you place it here, you can see that's 29 there and there. And the special ones is 39. And the white space only 1. And then we got the, the vectors here. Defined as string, all of them. And then we got this, uh, okay, you got the global string and use of text. That's the input from the user, and we are going to use the global string, as you will see uh, quite soon, indeed. We could actually, well, I don't think it is necessary to have it at all when I'm thinking about it, but yeah, anyway, I'm just doing it. <laughs> and then we have a constant char uh, and a pointer. I'm just calling this verbal pointer, the self-explanation, self-explaining. <laughs> 
and then we have short int ij total over total upper total special total white space length and run again and the run again is the get uh, or get ch get ch function and there um, it's like uh, 91, 9b, 86, 92, 9, 9d, and 8f. That's the hex codes we're going to use, as you can see here. And here. It's just a matter, it's a matter about upper or lower case ones. So you see uh, uh, 92. And 9d, that's cool. that should be er, 9d, yes. And 8f should be O, the last uh, character in the Norwegian alphabet. 8f, that is. And there it goes for the lower one as well. So 91, 9b, and 86. And when you're using hex uh, references, you have to use this slash and x. And here you see all these special characters I made and quote at the end. And there is a defined quote. Uh, let's see if that's been counted as well. Oops. And there we see it's been counted as a special character. And then we got an init function where everything is being set to zero or empty if that's necessary. And I'm just setting the pointer to be nil every time we are starting this function over again. Or when the user starts over again. It's not necessary though, but it should, just for the programming part. And then you have the user-defined function, so that's your input. So we are using the init first of all, your sentence, and then we got the get line function here. And then we have C in and the user text. And then we have setting the pointer to be equal to user text the dot uh, str uh, the, use, uh, the string here. And while the pointer is not at the very last character because you have a slash zero, which is the same as the end, uh, the global string is equal to the pointer's uh, direct leaf character or yeah character we should say. And then we are putting that global string into a vector, the string vector. And we are going to the next pointer, and we are counting the first uh, character, that's one. So that counts the length of all them, including the white spaces. And here the sentence you wrote, that will be uh, printed as long as i is equal to null and less than the length, incrementing i with 1 for every time we have gone to the end of the for loop uh, we are just typing out the string vector and that will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever yeah. and here we are just comparing if it's uppercase uh, making a total upper incre incremented by 1 every time and the same with the lower and the special character and the length and here we got the total white space is just being incremented not being printed so there is no need for a uh, vector for that and then we have some grammar issues so I could fix this even more optimizing it even more but uh, yeah I will go for that part so just doing some if tests if and else usually el else if uh, yeah that should actually not be a uh, <laughs> Tab there. and total upper total upper air. this is like if we are still being less than the last character we are just making a space between every character otherwise there will be a new line when we are done and that goes all the way down here including the white spaces and here we have uh, a void function to run that's the one being run again and you see I haven't made the run function available at the top here it's not well it's being uh, declared well been defined actually 
It's been defined. Oh. No, that's the declaration. I'm always messing up with those two names. That's the declaration. So we're declaring it to be here somewhere around so main can find it. So we can use that in the main here. And this is the two sentences you see when you are getting into the program. And there we set the height. Well, this is actually the window and this and its uh, x and y position, the width of it and the height, and uh, to repaint it. It should be yeah, repaint. So then we are just going on to the user defined function and doing the run. Um, if now it's been pressed, then we're returning zero and terminating the window. And I got this clear screen, so that won't be it won't be looking too messy. And would you like to run this program again? This one is being run over again. If there is something else than either Y or N being pressed, I hope you understood it. And there is a link to the code. To the bin paste, or yeah, yeah, paste bin. Anyway, uh, be talking to you guys later on. Take care. Goodbye.